Go in there, three them sauce. <laughs> All right, kind of excited. Just as a reminder, defense, wait 10 seconds. Uh, except for obviously not initial spawn. Thank you very much. Hey Riddick, you, you don't have to wait for initial spawn. Please go, just for respawns. <laughs> All right guys, so once again, the way this works is you have uh, the defense except for their initial spawn, is waiting on respawn whenever they die and choose to respawn. Uh, they will wait, just stand there scratching their asses for 10 seconds. So this is a, our intention is to try to give the offense the advantage because in, in 5v5 competition, stopwatch, you want times to be set. And so far tonight, uh, our experience has been pretty good it seems like when we had kind of even teams, times were set uh, and, and, and or beaten. Uh, when teams were out of whack um, skill-wise, the better team won. So it's not like the, the five-second respawn um, uh, necessarily broke things. Uh, nice. Nice little mind set up there. Good job, Matt. That was nice. Kill or mine? Cause... A little bit of both. That being said, we have a build on this objective. This is fantastic. Oh, I like it. Now, I the question is go. can resistance have a chance to come back? Can Oh, look at this. P Funk coming in, getting one kill, getting two. They're both down. Not Gip, though. And Matcom coming in to see if he can get some revives. And yeah, no Gibbs. But, but, the opportunity is there. Opportunity is definitely there. Bio is back on the objective, so is cheese spread. Apple, though, coming through, storming through, in fact. He, he does go down. Was well, going to get stomped in the face. He's able to get a down fire kill, but the um, question is, no, Bio is not going to have anything of it. Wearing the, uh, I like to wear leather on my face mask. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Potential reset for the resistance on the defense. Can they get the Gibbs though? Oh, I'm I'm ashamed. We're not seeing Gibbs on the engineers. That's bad. Seriously. For Pete's sake, guys, Gib. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we are, yeah, we are seeing resistance. Able to retake. This is fantastic. This is what we want to see. This is the kind of back and forth that Brink is supposed to be about. So, again, defense is waiting out 10 seconds before they, they respawn. And, and as we can see, it's not entirely game-breaking because they were able to recover um, and weren't just completely held off So uh, by, by the offense once the offense got set up. So this is uh, fantastic in my mind. Very exciting. Let's see if uh, Matt Com can make crazy shit happen. You're on camera, buddy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. Shot in the face. I told you, man. Apple have been. He's a pretty crazy dude. Well, I gotta take him down. Gotta yeah. Switch him his boss. Yeah. Alright. Next, we're seeing the side barricade being built. Uh, Riddick is just now rejoining because, um, again, he was waiting 10 seconds since he died and chose to respawn. Um, yeah, Gibbing becomes really important for the offense because they can knock out a, uh, a player for a potential 30 seconds if they get the kill um, right as the respawn wave had, uh, had passed. So, you know, re really nice, uh, impressive opportunities here. And uh, we're waiting for on security to see if they can get a foothold on this objective. A little bit of repair on this turret, but that's all good. Side barricade, pretty close to going up, I think. Yeah, two guys on it. This is gonna happen. Inferno, perfect molly. Very nice. And it stops the build. Fantastic shot there. Oh, 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 hang on. I gotta go check this out. Bio Snark being sneaky. I like it. I like it. He's gotta watch his flank, though. Oh, wow. He's getting, he's getting lucky here with uh, the avenue of resistance that's choosing to come back into this. Appleton spots him though, tossing a nade up. Actually, that was a pretty bad nade. Turret's still up. 
Ooh, and uh, I actually like this. The turret is facing in uh, towards the spawn, so Appleton's about to get shot in the face. It hits one mine, has to back off, almost gets cut down by the turret. Able to take it down, though. So nading like crazy, and I think finally we're going to see a retake of this area. Um, let's see how security's doing elsewhere. It looks like Hardbean trying to press in. Has a uh, height. Inferno has the height, tosses in the molly. Actually, that miss was a little bit long. Pretty good, pretty good attempt, though. It's a very long toss. Inferno backing off. Uh, oh, he's being chased down by two. This is <laughs> pretty hilarious. He's running. He's running and able to take down Vogue. We got an attempt at a, at a revive. Not dying, so don't Appleton to finally gets him down. But let's see if that gives an opportunity here for the security to press in and take this objective. Uh, it is pretty clear. Matcom up on the platform, looking to take down Riddick. And we got cheese spread on the controls. 14, 17 on the clock, and I am loving the pace of this. Matcom able to get the kill. Can he get the revive, though? That's the question. He's going to be hopping up. And yes, indeed. Here comes the pip. Cheese spread reviving. And 14.04 back on the controls. Cheese spread needing to uh, get some protection. Oh, here it is. Matt looking to. Uh, Pull things down. Cheese spread is down, but not out. And now Biostark is up on the objective. About to get cleared out by Appleton. So he gets shot in the back of the ass. And looks like uh, Pac... No, let's see. No, Voke actually TK'd there. Biostark back up on the objective. Anade about to get him in the ass. And uh, Appleton has been revived. He goes down again, though. And this time it's Inferno in the corner. Killing everyone except for Riddick. Riddick able to clean up. And Appleton uh, about to potentially kill Matcom. Let's see. No, he finally taps. So, let me actually go back because we had a lot of resistance die. I'm going to go... Yep, we got three guys waiting in spawn. They're going to be out for uh, another about five seconds before they move. And there we go. I think Apocalypse... Oh, and we, there we've got a crane repair. This is great. Uh, Matt, cutscene impressions. How does this feel? Whew. Well, felt good, but... It's really hard for me to make a judgment because it feels a little disorganized. Everyone seems right. a little all over the place, so well, it's just, hard just, to say. I, I guess what I'm going for is like kind of gut feeling. Um, I like it. It feels good. A lot more action. Yes. More okay. Action. Okay. So, so even with the kind of delay for the defense, it, it does seem like, um, yeah, like the action to me just feels like more objective based. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, simply because you have this back and forth, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's not... Yeah. Ooh, nice play by Appleton. Great flank. I like that a lot. Mm. Appleton just shut down a few people. That being said, Biosnark smartly re uh, repairing... Actually, he was repairing the other pain controls to get the bridge, right? Is that what he's doing? I didn't see... I, I, th I think they, they call it repaint... Uh, excuse me. Crane controls even for that, because a crane picks up some logs or something, doesn't it? <clears throat> uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Or maybe it's just the same message twice, they just have a bug, I don't know. <clears throat> Either way. Um, actually, you know what? Things look kind of thin here. Oh, that's because all the fighting is happening. Look at this, this forward pressure. Uh, by the resistance. I am liking this. Matt, how many times have you played uh, outside of a scrim and gotten... Your ass kicked right there. <laughs> right where? Right where you died. Never. Okay. It always seems to be up in the ship most of the battle goes on, or on the objective. Yeah. Because what I was just seeing, it seemed like you guys got kind of blindsided a little bit. Yeah, that, that was something I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Um, oh man, I died really quickly right there. <laughs> Yeah, and I, you know, I kind of like this forward play by the resistance. This is quite nice. Um, in fact, oh wow, Hamilton is one aggressive mother. Does I, maybe he didn't realize though that you guys have the other thing built. This is a potential hole in their in their little plan. Um, here we go. So opponent's gonna wait out ten seconds. We're actually gonna watch from his point of view. He's gonna chill out for a second here. He's actually getting like shit tossed on him as a, as he spawns in this one. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Do we have any hack beginning though? I I can't really tell if security's been able to get up on the objective. Yeah. No hack box planted just yet. So that being said, it looks like resistance has finally had to fall back to the objective. Um, 
Yeah. And you get the Gibbs. I'm flashbang like crazy. Fly over here. Hopefully I'm not staring at a wall. There we go. Okay. Bio's not going to try it. Hopping in. Down he goes. I didn't even see you kill him. Oh, no, that was, that was, that was uh, Vogue. My bad. Yeah, that's I was shooting the guy on the objective. I didn't realize there was a guy. Well, I did realize there was a guy next to me. I thought Inferno was going to kill him. Turns out... I still not trust yeah. Inferno to do anything. Huh. So, yeah, Harvey needs to uh, unbunch his panties. Just make a play. Hackbox going down. Good times. Yeah, since he's on your team, I don't mind mentioning it. Oh, oh. She spread. Now, this is something I actually don't like. Oh, did I double revive? No. One of them tapped out. Uh, actually, it's coming under fire. There, there was a turret back here. It wouldn't hit the guy that was down. Yeah, it would. Or I'm pretty sure they do, don't they? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that they'll shoot anything, because I, I think I've gotten gibbed by a turret before. Not entirely sure about that, but I, th I think that's okay. That being said, this uh, objective is at least looking like it's a lot more in contention. And you'll play quiet. Yeah, it's a, this is, a, this is I think, where this 10 second thing really <laughs> shines through is on this objective. I feel like I'm in an empty channel. What's that, Pifon? I said y'all play quiet. I feel like I'm in an empty channel. Uh, I'll concentrate they, to him. they might be using uh, in-game VoIP. That was uh, that was my suggestion. Since oh. uh, since everyone is in this event, uh, te uh, TeamSpeak channel, you probably don't want to broadcast what you're doing here. <laughs> All right, we are seeing a hack continue. Although Harvey not checking his six, and down go the two operatives. Matcom trying to hold down the objective. The clock this is a scientific the study. We don't have time to chit chat. Yeah, exactly. For science! Well, I, gotta go. I gotta grunt and groan. Somebody over here. Uh oh. Biosnark walking into a turret. Ouch. 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 Down he goes. And. Again, hard be not checking his six. Down he will go. Evoke puts him down, but let's see where we're at with this uh, objective. About 20%. 7 minutes, 35 seconds to go. Seems reasonable. A time might be set. That being said, though, the resistance has been able to hold. Uh-oh. Voke looking for a little bit of help from friends. Can't get it. Just, again, I just want to call this out on air, guys. Or on VOD. Anyone can remove the fucking sticky bomb. Anyone. You just press your activation key. Or F is the default key. Okay, please. Please stop thinking that only engineers can do it. That is bad information. Um, the only thing that engineers are, are like restricted to doing is removing mines. Okay, just want to call that out, make it very clear. I've had people um, yell at me, calling me stupid, uh, but I've been a soldier, I've been a medic, I've been an operative, and I can remove the fucking sticky bomb when it's on my teammate's shoulder. So please get that bad information out of your heads and help your teammates out before they explode. Thank you. Six thirty-nine on the clock. See what security is setting up here. Nice little rage here by Matt. I like it. And then actually behind Matt, I'm gonna see yeah. Mm -hmm, interesting. Take a look at Apple's root here. Yeah, a little, little bit of uh, I, I like this like this choice by Apple. This is very nice. I'm hoping that we've seen a little bit of an objective tap here. Are we? No. Uh, hmm. Matt, you feel like uh, like you feel like you guys are able to hold this objective? Really? This objective really sucks. <laughs> Is it a matter of uh, just like not not able to cover all the angles, or? Yeah, no, it's just too close to the defense. Too many angles, too hard to take it. Okay. Actually, go over to the defense respawn area. 
Is there only spawn point? I can't remember. I, thought, I think there's like two of them. Yeah, okay. I'm talking to myself. I probably shouldn't do that. I mean, I... But, okay, I'm actually seeing moments. I feel like if this was more coordinated... I'm seeing moments where resistance is not on this objective, Matt. Yeah. It's really hard to make coordinated offensive pushes without a coordinated team, which we are not. Yeah. So here we go. We got a pretty much a, a pretty full respawn wave by, by the resistance. And, yeah. Vogue's able to take down the operative and get him gibbed. But that being said, um, this is just the fact that we're on the second objective and we've seen a hack of about, you know, 30%. That's promising to me. Again, I feel like with the coordination, your, your team would be able to set a time here. Yeah, potentially. So I think tomorrow's going to be kind of the big test. Yeah, it's really hard to put together any sort of offensive push without teamwork. Yeah, defense is a lot easier to coordinate because you just fucking get there and kill people. <laughs> uh, offense requires a lot more timing. So, and, and deciding what route you're going to pick and uh, entering the scene, you know, correctly, yada yada. Yep. So. <laughs> wow, Inferno getting really aggressive here. This is pretty crazy. Let's actually follow this push. Follow him, she's praying. Follow him. Multiple enemies spotted. Go, dude. There you go. She spreads pretty lagged, yeah. Yeah. Poor guy, I mean, you can see she spread didn't even have a chance to react with his ping. But, you know, again, uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like the potential is there. It feels better. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of this map at all. Right. Subjective. I don't know how they balance these things. Yeah. I yeah, don't know I, how they're like, hey, let's actually put the offense 30 seconds away, and they have to traverse through narrow-ass corridors that a single mine can cover and guarantee the defense a kill. Mm -hmm. Or at least a heads up that that's the entrance they're using. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Or you can take another 10 seconds on an already 30 second run and go another way <laughs> that leads you down an equally narrow path <laughs> that they spawn 10 seconds away from. Yeah, so you're saying maybe, maybe the spawn point itself is, is the problem. I feel like this map is just kind of food barred in general. Okay. <clears throat> so, now here's my question though, when we flip sides, I'm very curious to see how this pans out. Do you feel like the other team would set a time if their coordination is good enough against you guys? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, I kind of do. I, I, I kind of think they, they might. No! Yeah. Poor cheese spread. Like, you can just see his ping is really a factor. The other guy got a fair amount of shots off before he did. Hmm. So yeah, 54 seconds remaining. Uh, we did see this thing about... Uh, wh what's the percentage on it, Matt? Uh, 33%. Okay, yeah, so a third of the way hacked. We at least weren't stuck on the crane. That, that's important. Um, consensus might be that uh, given the, the proximity of the respawn point for the resistance uh, perhaps you know it's not even enough oh he's reviving <laughs> oh wow 
that's pretty crazy. Clunk. All right. So guys, we're about to see this thing flip sides. And I was getting some bad lag there at the end. Yeah. This is it. And we'll see how this uh, pans out for the other end, uh, for the other side. I don't know how much is needed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's no turning back. Alright. Uh, guys, keep an eye on Smiley. I, I don't know if he was aware that it's a 10 second thingy. But uh, just. Uh, I think I told him. Okay, cool. Alright. Hang on. All right, guys. So we're live with. Uh, this is the. Uh, please don't take what. It's the buffs are on. Oh yeah. Is there a way to turn? What's the? Do you remember the, Cvar? Because I actually have Archon to the server. I can turn them off. Uh, I think you have to restart for that to affect. Oh okay. Well, let's let's not worry about it. Um. Yeah. But again, guys, tomorrow we're going to try to run this with teams so that we'll have all the settings in place. This was just a little bit of a, an experiment uh, to see what it felt like just in terms of whether or not plus 10 broke the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> And Smiley played yesterday, so he should know what's up, but it's all good. Maybe he, he just forgot. It, it is kind of hard to get it into your head to just fucking stand there um, for for 10 seconds. <laughs> um, yesterday we, we played with 5, and it felt like an improvement, but 10 seems to be pretty good for most maps that we've seen so far. Uh, you know, not not perfect, but, but an, an improvement. Priest. For that last one, only waited nine and a half seconds. Oh, dude, seriously? You were off the team. Just disconnect now. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This is just totally an honor system type of thing. There, There is no server setting to enable this yet, but uh, our hope is that Splash Damage will be able to take a look at this uh, video work that I'm going to do uh, with, with this data that we're collecting. Oh, we got someone on the objective. This is awesome! Wait, you know what else we have? We have Matt Khan. <laughs> nice dude. That that's a that's a really nice maneuver here, Matt. Although you're getting shot in the ass. Uh oh. There was way too many of them. Yeah. Yeah. Although question is, can resistance retake? I don't know. We got uh, Appleton back on the objective. Hard being trying to get the distance, can't get it done. Oh, shot in the face. Very nice. Hardbean does get that kill. We're going to see revive, though. Nades long. No good there. Appleton uh, opting to protect himself rather than continue to build. Uh, what is the class loadout here? We have, wow, three engineers on the, uh, potentially on this objective. But right now it's just... Uh, uh, look at this. Look, I love this. The offense actually has time to set up. They're actually defending this rather than just trying to lemming their way onto this objective. Now we got two pairs of blow torches on it. We've got Inferno not able to... No, excuse me, Voke. Yeah, Voke uh, getting back up. One guy's back on it. Kank getting the repair. By the way, I always love ducking down here because you don't get headshot from afar. Um... This this area right here, if you are ducking, right? If you're ducking behind this objective, you can come around to this side and then crouch. Yeah, thank you, Apple. Very instructive. Thank you very much. I actually move a little bit closer so that from this angle, you can actually move a little bit so that you are kind of tucked in here uh, and also can't be headshot from over here. Uh, so, yeah. That being said... This is beautiful, folks. This is what I wanted to see. Resistance potentially... Um, potentially... Uh, what was I going to say? 
have resistance retaking. So this is uh, kind of what I wanted to see. I wanted this to be a back and forth. And uh, basically the game is not broken by having this 10 second respawn. Resistance does have an opportunity to retake this. And we saw a pretty good stranglehold by security just moments ago. So again, uh, kind of excited to see the, the potential here for a nice bit of back and forth on objectives rather than the, just the one sided dominance that we've seen in Brink so far. I am, I'm just, I'm fucking stoked, man. I, of course, I just realized that sprint equals smart, and yeah, there's no toggle for smart. You actually have to hold it down. I don't think that, um, I, I'm not sure that, uh, Riddick knew what he was asking when he asked if there was a sprint toggle. Because sprint equals smart. And I don't know anyone that would want to always have smart on. Otherwise, you're going to be climbing up to the top of the crane every fucking time you look at it. <laughs> I find that really annoying, by the way. If I forget to let go. That being said, Resistance again has retaken this objective. 14.41 on the clock. A time was not set. A 20 minute time to beat. Um, I'm going to hop around and see what we got here. I literally have to go back to spawn to get more ammo. Huh. Yeah, no, no soldiers being run. I'm out of both secondary and primary ammo. You know, you, you could die. Why else aren't you stuck? It's faster just to run back. Oh. He really is stuck. Oh, fuck. For all that running. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill yourself. There's no kill command. Shit, sorry dude. If someone come kill Biosnark, he's stuck inside the barricade. Uh, I think I think it's the side barricade. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is so fucking epic. Yeah. Now see when when I There he goes. He's getting shot in the ass? No, it's him shooting. He's totally stuck, there's no way to kill. Uh, hey, hey, Bio, you, you can always just... just oh, wait, you're about to get shot. Don't, don't shoot him. Yeah, let, let me kill you. There you go. All right. Voke is the... <laughs> Maybe he needs a good defensive spot. <laughs> yeah, the epic D right there, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. That being said, crane, con crane controls repaired. <laughs> That's what it took. That was awesome. Um, hey, tell Mike yeah. Tom I got a, a big glass of milk and some Oreos right in front of me here. Okay. Uh, Matt... Kink says that he's got a big glass Don't of milk and cupcakes. some Oreos for you. Uh. <laughs> he's speechless. Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright. So, yeah, we got the. Uh, rather, resistance already setting up, getting the mines down, getting the turrets down. Again, we're trying to play it with uh, hopefully just one turret and one mine per MG. Uh, actually, I'm going to call this out here. One turret per team, one mine per Coordinate. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're playing with mostly vanilla settings, guys. This is just, uh, you know, health command post buffs are on. We didn't really fiddle too much. We just wanted to kind of get things rolling and, and just see if the plus 10 made a pretty significant difference. That being said, we have seen, at the very least, the crane controls get uh, completed both times. Matcom diligently waiting as the defense for his 10 seconds of unfame before heading right back out into the fray. You know what I just realized, Matt? I have not died very often as resistance on this map. I don't really know the resistance uh, pathways Back to this yeah. objective. Like, that, that tells you something, right? <laughs> that's, that's almost scary to me. To think that, uh... I don't really die too much... On, on D here. Matt trying to hold it down. It looks like, uh, Bean's gonna get the... Glory, though, with a mine kill that takes out two. Riddick able to return. Inferno, though, able to get the kill. Matt self-revives, I believe. And uh, we're going to hop back out to the objective. Get a little third-eye cam. Uh, 
and make sure that the resistance is actually waiting in the next spawn wheel I see. Yeah, so we should see Inferno. Yeah, Bilasnark is waiting. Inferno on the next wave, unless he got revived. Let's see. Where is Inferno? Yeah, Inferno is just waiting out. So yeah, this is great. Good stuff. Waiting is 10 seconds. And... You should be able to go. There we go. So let's get up to the objective. And uh, As I literally learned that side of the map, that's pretty sad. I just haven't died enough. Kank on the objective. Trying to figure out how to get his hack box connected to his hack tool. Pony. Pony needing to defend himself. Seriously, dude. Down to get his hard beam, getting it done. Kank goes down as well. So, yeah, we do have a hack box on the objective with about 2%. 9 minutes and 53 seconds left on the clock. And, um, I, I think that this team might beat your progress, Matt. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. They're at four percent. We were at uh, thirty-three, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna try to get back into this game. I'm trying to answer some questions and, and talk to people. I'm also doing some stuff with chat, good times. As soon as I get on the flashbang, woo! Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's there's definitely some potential here. I don't think this will be the hot topic competitive map. Uh oh, that's mine. That's mine. Those stuff all right. Oh god. Okay. Oh, he's hit off of it. It w he was about to get shot in the face anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, little bit more touch. Question is, can security actually hold the objective? That's what I want to see. No pressure, Matt. You're on camera. <laughs> Nice range kill. Kank, though. See if he can return the favorite. Not able to get the gib. There's the revive, potentially. And up he goes. Oh, nice, nice work to not just simply get up, but wait and make sure it's clear. Good job there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Pretty, pretty decent hold so far. By the resistance. I feel like, again, with uh, maybe a little bit of um, coordination, this could work out a lot better for the security. They, they don't seem to be very well coordinated. And this map, team versus team, I think will be pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Because um, I, I feel like, yeah, it's so easy to kind of set up a defense, set up crossfires, um, without having the tight communication. You know, you don't need to time anything. You just need to be there and, and kill people. Whereas with uh, offense, everything needs to be timed for it to be well executed. So maybe I was wrong, Matt. I think maybe you're going to hold this. Another thing I would love, Splash Damage, if you happen to watch this, if you can enable the ability for me to press the jump button to move up and press the crouch button to move down, that would really help my camera work a lot. You can do that, but you have to be on the move. So if you're moving oh, forward fuck. or backward, that works. Oh. Th that's good enough. Okay. I was not aware. I was not aware. Thank you very much, Matt. You're welcome. I just learned something. It's a pain in the ass, though, so they kind of do need to fix that. Yeah, but it's... I mean, I I can live with that a lot more. That, I I can I can work that out, because it's so much faster than me having to look all the way down and just oh, adjust well, something. I'm out of ammo again. Yep. You Take a hike, man. Me. Take a hike. <laughs> So 
so 545 on the clock still not a touch on this objective uh, the current loadout here for the attacking team is going to be two covert ops and engineer two medics uh, they're lacking a soldier excuse me oh, they're lacking a soldier and that really bothers me to be honest defense or offense yes both teams are lacking a soldier <laughs> I decided to get myself killed and wait 30 seconds. Can, let's so see, oh, can Apple get a revive? Ammo. Seriously, dude. Medics, where are you? <laughs> He's just chilling. He's like, oh, yeah, I got this. <laughs> oh, finally. And it's a turret. Yeah, okay. We have confirmation that turrets will kill a downed guy. Because uh, Appleton has been sitting there for about 30 seconds, and uh, Hardbean just puts up a turret and walks away, and then the turret is what killed him. So, <laughs> good times. <laughs> that answers that question. <laughs> oh, Apocalypse, you gotta get shot in the face. Oh, you gotta check for those turrets, buddy. Really? Kill the fucking turret, Riddick. Oh my god. Alright. We actually have a hack here. Security's on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, nice snipe. I think that's Matcom with the headshot. Yes, it was. And... Holy shitballs, Matt. You are saving the day here, buddy. Yes, full clear by Madcom right there, folks. Oh, yeah. That was fantastic. <laughs> you killed all but one. That was that was pretty crazy, dude. Nice, nice job. But that being said, though, what's the what's their progress? Twenty percent? Yeah, twenty-two. Nice. <laughs> that was that was quite nice, dude. Uh, where where did you enter, by the way? I I didn't see you. Kind of came out of my screen. Uh, later. I kind of came out of spawn and then I went down into the ship. And uh -huh. went into the side of the ship and then just kind of flanked it in behind right. them Right. Awesome. Okay. I was curious. Sweet. One of them saw me right off the bat, but I killed it first. And the rest didn't bother to turn. Yeah. I, well, really, the, the key thing was you taking out the guy actually hacking him. And his medic. <laughs> Good times. Well, we actually do have a command post here. Yeah, I, I think one of your guys took it. That's okay. No problemo. Again, tomorrow we're going to try to play this with teams, and that'll be the real test, I think. Oop, see you back, guy. Hard being dutifully waiting out his 10 seconds. Very nice. Yeah, time getting shot in the face. Damn it. Apocalypse Pony. Trampling. Riddick. Trying to defend and kill off Firestalk. No. That being said, though, we do have a potential hack. And Voke able to defend. Oh, switch to your secondary. There you go. Right, but Smiley is there for the kill. Oh, yeah. Let's see where we're at here. Uh-oh. Two minutes. Two minutes. You know, Matt, what's really important about this, though, at least on this map, it, it may be a bitch, but at least we have progress. So this will never be a map where it's impossible to have a double hold. I'm yeah. kind, of, kind of excited about that, at least. <laughs> I'm wondering, is there even a place where resistance could spawn somewhere else, farther away? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe over here? I, I don't even know what this... Actually, no, that would be cutting off that avenue. Maybe, maybe the thing to do is to, like... Shit, I don't even know, because I haven't been over here enough to, to know the routes on this map. You see me kill three people? No, I, I'm, I'm hunting for a potential spawn area that would make the resistance have to run further. So technically our team lost it. They're at 34% hacking. However. Awesome. That, that's, so that 1% that Pony just, or no, Appleton B got was like the game winner right there, pretty much. That's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I, I was actually right. I was right. I, I like being proven right. 1% <laughs> right. 
But Wait, how are you proven right? Because they, they beat your progress, so they win, technically. Uh, that's not big right. You said they would set a time. Well, okay, fine. You're, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm lying now. I'm a bastard, but they still beat you. By as By far as percent. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time, man. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Okay, no, but seriously, what I'm happy about, though, is that, at the very least, um, we do, we're not seeing this thing automatically held at the crane. That's, that's kind of the key thing. Yeah. So, what map do we have to test now? What do you think, Resort? Is Resort worth testing? Or is there another one that should be better examined? Uh, I think Resort might be good. Okay. So we got, uh, Zoidberg is in. What's up, Zoid? How you doing, man? Not too bad, what's up? Dude, man, we've been having a blast all night. The 10 seems to be a pretty good spot. We have had no one help at the first objective except for one map where the teams were pretty imbalanced and it made sense. The, the uh, better team set an amazing time and the other team just couldn't beat it. So it felt good. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All right, dude, oh, I'm so stoked. Are we going to ESL rules or? Just straight up anything. Uh, it's the only thing is just um, one one mine, each NG, one turret per team. That's pretty Sounds much good. yeah. We're not worrying about command posts, even though buffs are on. This is just a kind of generic test, just to see if plus ten breaks anything. Wait, is this is this real? Yes, this is live, Matt. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm good. I was just chatting in Skype, and I come in, I'm like, wait, 20 seconds is over? <laughs> Soldier down and gived. And Soldier. then I got in and started training. Oh, and just, as a heads up, Zoid, uh, everyone on the server is in this team speak, by the way, so. No, well then. Yes, use, use in-game in, in VoIP, bro. In-game VoIP. <laughs> I am bad at <laughs> I stopped playing last night. I'm sure the Soldier knows he's gived as well, so. I'm not letting anything too important out. Zoidberg, not camping fashion. <gasps> Holy shitballs, we have a plant already. Oh my god. That is awesome as hell. Although, potential for a disarm. Zoidberg with the champion disarm. There we go. Alright, guys. Once again, guys, this is uh, Grease Gossman from Bring TV, and we've been running a test all night long. Uh, I've actually been going, I think, since like 10. Uh, PM and it's now 2 a.m. which is pretty awesome. Uh, what we have found, we are running, um, let me explain what's going on, hop into someone's cam here. Um, we are basically enforcing for the defense a plus 10 respawn delay. Oop, hang on, Todd Bot needs to go spec, please. Well, I just played it pretty smiley. I'm gonna disarm. Hey, can you or check to see if fire. they're waiting ten seconds? Because it does not feel like they are. <laughs> okay, I, I will. I will go check that. Guys, just a reminder: uh, on defense, you need to wait ten seconds, and top out needs to get the hell out. Can, can you guys tell him to? to... I think you took uh, bio snarks. He was uh, replacing bio. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, just as a reminder, guys, uh, make sure you're waiting 10 seconds on the defense, okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah, Toddbot wasn't quite aware of the rules, so I, I just let him know. <laughs> so that that was part of it, uh, and he was just a replacement that hopped in the last second. So it's all good. We'll get it sorted out. Um, yeah, guys. So we're, we're basically playing with a a honor rule um, plus ten second respawn delay, and for the defense only. Initial spawn, they just come in and, and play, but uh, otherwise, 
uh, you just kind of run with it. Um, and uh, if you are on the defense, and in this case, if you are on security, and then essentially whenever you die and you choose to respawn, you just stand there and spawn for 10 seconds. Uh, so, it's good times. Uh, we've, been, we've been playing it all night, and it feels pretty good, I have to say. That, that 10 second buffer seems to be pretty close to a sweet spot for the uh, offense having an opportunity to set up and, uh, and get the objectives done. We've actually had some time set. It's, it's good times. Of course, we're going to try this tomorrow with some actual teams. That'll be a lot more important. This is just sort of a dry run, if you will. Let me go actually and find the bot here, see how things are going. Nice little flank. Hank is about to get double teams. Very nice play indeed. The bot has been stopped in its tracks. Ooh, nice little setup here in the court. I like this a lot. This is fantastic work by the security. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, she's just reconnected. Okay, that's all that was. Yeah. I, I wish that it would put you on spec first. So you have to choose if you wanted to join the team. That being said, we do have a plant down. This is, oh, a potential uh, disarm. We got a nade bouncing around, and he's on top of it. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. Never looked up on this map. It's nice. Yes, it is. It's pretty cool. And another attempt at a plant. Oh man, this is kind of crazy. This is this is pretty sexy, actually. Here we go. Now, again, look at this. The entire team coming out, but that delay, that respawn delay, was enough time to get a back-to-back -back plant for the resistance, um, even though the first was disarmed. So, you know, a significant change in gameplay rather than defense having uh, an easy time getting set back up. That 10 seconds made all the difference. And let's see if in uh, about 16 seconds if the resistance can hang on to this and we'll see if the bot can be moved forward. Just a few more seconds. Zoidberg. Trying to get it done. Oh, pretty close. Riddick comes in to save the day. And we have ourselves the bridge blown away. Matcom trying to get the bot rolling. Hope Defcon taking one in the chest. And uh, nice little action happening around this bot. A little bit of flanking indeed. And uh, Matt Combo will clear up, taking out Sidebot. Uh oh, self revive. Matt forgot to give. Oops. I'm out of fucking ammo. Yeah, you guys are not running a soldier. I don't think you really need three. three NGs, do you? Uh, I feel like two NGs and a soldier and two medics is pretty solid here. Although, um, I don't know, I guess on offense, how, how useful do you think the grenades are, given the uh, bot objective? Definitely useful. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. It was sort of a trick question, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> um, rhetorical, perhaps. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I... Well, yeah, I guess I guess since we have um, Todd body in for bio, that does make a bit of a change. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. That being said, I mean, you, you got 12 minutes and you're moving this bot, so. Or do you feel like it's stacked in the other direction? It's stacked for no. you? not stack for us. Huh, okay. I don't know, this last objective will be a really interesting thing considering how close it is for the offense. I mean, rather for the defense, excuse me. I think we're going to run into something similar to um, Shipyard where that zero distance is going to be a, a problem still. Getting a Nice little bit of a repair on the objective. Evoke almost has it up and running. There we go. We are on the move. And I'm going to hop out and see. Look at this. Oh, three guys waiting in spawn. This is fantastic. And that it basically has given an opportunity to finish off the, the uh, escort, I think. Yeah. I think you guys will finish it in time. It will be pretty close. 
But I don't think enough damage can be unloaded on this thing. Yeah, this is great. Look at that. Boom, 1125, and the bot is done. All right, so now the question is, can the hack be done in 11 minutes? Uh, this... But again, I, I feel like, you know, if you get a pretty good sweep as the offense... Uh, I think, you know, if you get a pretty good sweep as the offense, you might be able to, to get in there. Smiley trying to defend. And uh, he's getting a little bit of help from Inferno. Matt comes able to take him down, though. And here's the first real push. Let's see if this uh, comes together. We have four operatives. Ooh, looking pretty good. We got at least Appleton. I'm going to go find him. Smiley waiting out. Good little... Uh, little guy. Uh-oh. It looks like Appleton got stomped well before he got to the objective. That's not good. I like that security is actually having to press forward here. This is really nice. They're, they're looking to get the kills even before the uh, objective, so I think they they noticed that they only have the one operative to worry about and uh, so they went ahead and just pressed forward. So again, we're seeing um, this respawn delay is actually opening up tactics uh, that are basically not even needed uh, in in the vanilla gameplay. So again, plus 10 seconds for the defense is what they are waiting out whenever they die and respawn. So, uh, so far so good. Nine minutes, 42 seconds on the clock. And is it just like, Matt, do you ever use the, the back hallways? Uh, I, I really don't like them, to be honest. I feel like it's too easy for security to cover those. And I, I tend to go the, the bot route, but that's just me. I think Matt's very focused. He's not even responding to me anymore. Yeah, I don't know what back hallways are talking about. Like, uh... Through their spawn? Yeah, go, go, kind of going up next to their spawn, yeah. yeah. There's, I, there's I, hallways that go through their spawn, and there's hallways that go like to the middle of the map. I, I guess middle of the map at this point is what I'm talking about. Because uh, I, I feel like... I feel like, uh... Going anywhere near their spawn as resistance, you get your ass kicked. I don't know. Uh oh, we got a hack. Look at this. It's pretty sexy. Can we actually get set up there? Oh, look at this. Yes, indeed we can. Oh man, I'm excited. Look at this. The offense is actually getting time to set up. The defense is having to actually press through. Although we did put down two turrets, but we're not going to get too technical and too worried about it. Whoop, a little bit of lag there. Um, can Appleton defend himself? Uh, I'm getting flashbang. Uh, I'm flashbang. Appleton TK'd. Oh, a DEFCON. Uh oh, uh oh. Server crashing? No. Yes? No, I don't think so. I'm stuck. Maybe just for me, but that's okay. A little bit. Yeah, I can hear you, and I am navigating A okay. Well, let me hop back in. Oh, there we go. Let me reconnect. Wow, a lot of people disconnected. Yeah. I'm just going to hop back in if I can. Hmm. Well, that's kind of a letdown. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting back in. have downed one of our gunships. The pilot was forced to crash land on the Founder Resort Pelgo. Radio chatter indicates that a terrorist snatch squad and an armored extraction boat. I think boat we should skip the 10 second spawn times this time. <laughs> Enemy mines just just say it. Oh, yeah. If you got disconnected, please just go. I got disconnected too. Okay. Alright. I'm hurt! I need a medic! Oh, God! The gate control! Huh? Let's go, spectator. Well, I feel really cheap after winning this. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I mean, you know, so the server had a hiccup. No big deal.
You know what you want to just like... You, you know what, you know what, you know what would be an interesting wrong, test? So it would be me. would be to have the security give them a chance to basically set up and then see if you could break it. What do you feel about that? With the remaining uh, six minutes? Just, or do you want to just set the time? I feel like they're, they're setting up right now. Actually they are, yeah. Okay. So this will be actually a really interesting test. So what happened? Uh, just just kind of go, guys. The server it's at ninety nine percent crash for some people, but just go ahead and play. We'll go ahead and play Everybody it out. On our team. It's crashed. No, it was actually it was um, it, it was a kind of it wasn't quite even, but it's all good. Yes. We have I mean, everybody that got disconnected from the game was on our team. Good oh, okay. job, brothers. That's well, that's okay. It's, it's, it's the the first hiccup that we've had all t all night with the server. Maybe it's uh, hopefully be the only one. Well, I got disconnected from Teamspeak too. I think it was an internet deal. Oh wow! I disconnected okay. from Brink and Teamspeak. Yeah, all you huh. guys did like four at one time. It was weird. So maybe it's uh whatever so whatever center. pipe we're on just got hammered or something. Either way, I blame it on. Yeah. Uh, so that's the time set. Actually, it's pretty cool. Um, curious to see when we see the flip of it. All right, guys. So this is the flip side to the resort match we just saw, and this time we're seeing um, uh, the offense resistance hold out by Zoidberg, Inferno, aka Mr. Smiley, Hobo Defcon, and Toddbot. Seeing if they can beat the time of about 14 minutes, roughly, it was. I, I didn't see the exact time it was, but we actually had a, a server hiccup uh, that kind of thwarted thwarted the game slightly. But, uh, oh, no. pretty pretty decent push. Huge Holy play. shit balls. Uh, that is a big fat plant going down. Time is, that spawn time is over, I know it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this has got to be frustrating. Uh, while you're here in the background, guys, I'm on the team right, speak with every single uh, person that's on the server. Yeah. Ooh, I would prefer to help out. Now, yeah, uh, you know, you got cheese spread here in spectator with me, and uh, he's saying, "Wow, that was quick." Oh, he's Th that, that is true, but I also feel like they earned it. I mean, they they cleared the room. They should be able to get the plant. Whereas uh, I've seen full clears on this map before, and the offense still can't even get the fucking plant down, so. Uh, oh, there we go, nice coverage in the back room, Hobo Defcon getting it done. Yeah, these teams are not very balanced. Well, I'm, I'm up for tweaking them and playing more. <laughs> I don't know, then again, we've been going since like 10, so. I don't know if people have to go, but I'm up for more games, because I'm having fun. That being said, we're on to the bomb objective, the second bomb objective, if you will. And oh my god, oh, really? Inferno, oh. are you fucking kidding me? You crazy motherfucker. Wow. Wow, this is this is kind of a roll. Yep. But but let's call it out though. Matt, your team still set a time. You know? Yeah. That that you know well, we set a time after the server crash. Yeah, but you you were actually pretty close to setting one anyway. I, I felt anyway. And the double defuse. There we go. Nice. Nice. There you go. All right. Yeah, see, Matt, your team comes together. I like don't, it. Don't revive. Don't revive. Don't, uh. Oh, nice little mind placement here. Riddick. He didn't even get the kill, though. Me. Oof. A little bit off on the aim against Inferno. And there it is, Kank gets the fill, and no revive, they're just replacing mines. Uh, sadly, Riddick is the... Riddick, Riddick is the medic, so he won't be able to, to get that done. Uh, Shit. Decent turret placement here, although, hmm, do we have... Let's see, let's, let's do a count here. Yeah, eh, normally we want to do one turret per team, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, I think guys are paying attention to the one mine per NG, though. Uh, yeah, that, that's good enough. Inferno. Able to get the plant. 11 minutes on the clock. Oh, we're, we're defense. I forgot. So as a reminder, yeah, defense is waiting uh, 10 seconds. Once they respawn, they just stand there. Pick their nose. Riddick and, and Smiley go down together. Inferno cleans up. 
Inferno covering his charge. About to go off in... We'll see after this flashbang. Eight seconds. Question is, can security get in? Appleton trying to clear. And Zoidberg coming in and unable to stop uh, the plant. Appleton will get exploded by the bricks that fly into his head. Down fire Appleton ready to kick ass take names. The bot though, where the hell is this bot? I haven't even seen the bot. Did they forget the bot? It's pretty funny. I think I think they kinda did. Oh, here's three guys in security just chilling. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Oh, uh coffee breaks over. Time to go. <laughs> and out they go. Is it enough though? Let's go find this damn bot. There it is. This is actually a little bit of a mistake that's going to delay uh, this team. They literally forgot the bot in, at spawn. So, opportunity here for the uh, security to shut down the bot. If they just need to get all kinds of fire on it. Here's Matt cleaning up. Todd uh, not able to self-revive. So, Matt opting for the kill everyone in front of the thing and then shoot the... Oh, no, no. Inferno. Inferno getting the clear. Matt's back up on his feet, though. Zoid has him spotted. And the bot is on the move again. Nades are starting to come in. I'd love to see a blanket. Where's a soldier? Really? No soldiers. Matt, you might want to straight up tell your team to fucking roll a soldier, but that's all good. And I don't know about you, but like whenever I have a spare moment at this bot, I just empty my clutch into it. I still have any ammo. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Without a soldier, that's a very good point. 20 bullets left in my gun. Yeah. Oh, and I get fucked. I... Like, seriously, I wouldn't worry too much about taking command to us. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> that being said, the bot is on the move. Still not past the bridge, though, because they uh, literally forgot the damn thing in the trenches. 8 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. Bot is at the bridge, the, team, the game says. Dun dun dun! Inferno trying to hold it down as an operative. Actually, running an operative, really? Before a hack objective? That's kind of weird. Appleton cleans up. Zoidberg going down immediately to Appleton and then a nade. Anybody got an idea of why I get absolutely no abilities as operative? Which one's the pick? It's not running yet, self config. Oh. Um, just... That's why. I thought you get at least some operative abilities right away. Alright, and so the bot is now passing the bridge. A little bit slow going for this bot objective compared to what we saw uh, the other team roll, but they did have a much faster initial plant on the pillar, uh, so they got to the second objective a bit, a bit quicker. That being said, I mean, seriously, the flow of this just feels right. right. I, you know, it feels like there's actual progress being made. You know? Oh, Matt trying to flank doesn't quite work, though. And he goes to Hobo Defcon. Inferno is down. This bot will finally take a breather just inches away from... Uh-oh, Hobo Defcon trying to get it. And finally, we're seeing the damage in on the bot. It has been nearly cleared again. So I'm wondering uh, if uh, maybe just taking the time to deplete its health would be an advantageous thing to do. Cute. We do have revives coming in. Hobo Defcon's back on his feet. The respawn wave for the offense is here, and they are moving this thing into position. Just a few more steps, and we'll have about six minutes uh, yes, back up. to run for the hack objective. Here is Riddick finally entering uh, his gun into the bot, but it's not enough. He has to back off, and the bot will make it to its destination. So six minutes and 15 seconds for this hack objective. Zoidberg already coming in okay. and clearing the purple pants people eater. Already clearing this objective. Good lord. This is bad news bears for the defense. That come giving chase and getting the kill. And now it's time for security to set up. They got five minutes and 45 seconds to hold. Actually, you know, it doesn't feel too impossible, though. 
Uh, again, this is where, you know, the proximity might come into play. We shall see. Security is pretty much set up. We need to redeploy mines and their one turret, though. And here's where, you know, the offense has to run 8,000 miles. Smiley, we're five, eight, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were coming for me. I'm just chilling here. So five minutes, security is set. Resistance has to break it. Oh wow, look at this. Apple, I love, I love it whenever uh, the D comes out here and holds this kind of center tree. The uh, avatar tree. <laughs> that being said, Hobo Defcon just puts him down. Matt gets a headshot. We're gonna hop back in towards the objective. See how this is being held uh, pretty tightly, actually. We got turrets set up, we got mines everywhere. I'm yeah, yeah. Got looking good. Like, looking good. Abilities on it might be more useful. I don't really got anything but a gun. And actually, Hobo can't press in. Look at this. Matt come out, comes out and uh, puts him down. And gets the stomp in addition to potentially kill against Smiley. You're yes. still alive. And uh, it's not a ammo again. Uh, done with pistol. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, you can take a command post, bro. Like uh, everyone else is doing it. Just go ahead. Go I ahead. do it for now. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, I got no HPs. <laughs> and we have a yeah, good. Yeah, I have enough ammo to take the command post though. <laughs> well, you, you've been killed. How about that? That works. Oh, Kent just timed out. Oh, Riddick just ran off. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we lost one. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. So Shit, we lost two. <laughs> well, oh, that sucks two. for us. Oh, it's Yikes. repeating itself. I swear, it's this objective. It just automatically kicks people out. Uh, it's not like we can just pause it, though, so... Yeah, I'm still in team speed. Last time I was out on... Hey, guys, we, we got two guys dropped. Do you mind if we just kind of hold still for a second? For them we to We can't do a stopwatch. Oh, yeah, that's true. Never mind. It's stopwatch. Yeah, last Meh. time we lost four guys. Wish there was a pause and splash damage. Uh, I got it. Yeah, that, that's right. Wow. Nice. Shit. That being said, three we killed everyone. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, there, there is that. Oh my god, and a nade stops to revive. That's fantastic. Oh, epic. Epic nade. I'm not going to wait in 10 seconds while we're down. Yeah, dude, that, that's okay. Uh, defense, since you're down two guys, don't wait. Okay? <laughs> just just go. Don't worry about the respawn delay. Is that clear? It's gotta be this objective or something. That's where it happens. Okay, it you, you, you've got your two connects coming in, so once wow. they're back in, uh, then, then do resume the 10 second respawn delay, okay? We get a free one though when we come back, right? Oh yeah, yeah, just go if you got DC'd. Yeah. But if you die from here on out, 10 seconds. Alright guys, so despite a little bit of a server connection issue, we do have a hack going down on the objective. Inferno hiding in the corner. And uh, let's see if the security can retake this objective. Two minutes. Two minutes, and there was a time set, so... Uh, we are working with the stopwatch rules. Inferno uh, getting up close and personal, 50% hacked. And uh, let's see if potentially, I'm going to hop out and see what the action is here. See if the security can get in. It looks like they have been able to defend this one wave, so uh, potentially they might be able to beat this time. One minute and 43 seconds remaining. The hack continues to rise. We're at about 80%. Uh, Inferno is still going. And the great coverage by his resistance teammates. Hank unable to get in, and uh, I think we are going to see this time beat, but this was a little bit of a throw throwaway round because the server was giving us some trouble, sadly. Um, we had crashes on this objective for yes. uh, players, we not not the, the server itself, but pub. players themselves getting dropped. I'm not sure. Maybe the internets outside. are failing us, Good but job, uh, brothers. Yeah, that's sort of a shame. Sort of a shame to see that. Okay, well, in this downtime, guys, um, let's just talk generally about Kind of your impressions. Uh, let's just kind of go down the the team speak list. Uh, so we'll start with maybe Kank. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's needed. I'm I'm not surprised they're not doing it first because uh, I think they want to just do one at a time. But I bet they got it on their list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do actually. 
Yeah. But uh, the, so the, the feel is good. I, I don't think we've encountered anything where we felt like plus 10 for defense was game breaking. Does anyone have that impression? Not really. Not we want it to be, um, you know, an offensive bias. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, yeah. Since we are aiming for an offensive bias, yeah. Uh, although, even quite frankly, like just straight up pub rules, I I even feel like plus ten might be appropriate. Um, yeah. Given, uh, I don't know what the stats exactly are, but I do know that um, I asked Badman straight up about some uh, some of the stats they were recording, and I'm like, how how biased is it for the defense? And he's like. Yeah, um, we are aware <laughs> that that the game is defensively biased. We're we're working on that. So, yeah, um, that's at least good that they are uh, aware and, and working on stuff. So, uh, Riddick, uh, do you have any any thoughts? Like, how does just the plus ten feel? Uh, plus ten, I like it. Just uh, there's still a couple maps. I think they got to change the spawn a bit for the defense. You feel like the D is still too close on some cases? Yeah, I think Shipyard is one of the worst. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Apple, uh, what are your thoughts, man? Uh, I think that the longer spawn times is a lot better, uh, especially for competition, you know, a lot better games, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, that way so, you know, you can tell who's who's been practicing and who hasn't, because I've seen a lot of teams just, you know, as long as they're D, they've been holding, you know, like, L for S, for example, you know, like teams with no names have just been holding them on D, so <laughs> I think they would add a lot more to the game. Might get okay. a bit more interesting. All right, and Hobo, you kind of came in a little bit later. Um, yeah. What, what are your kind of first impressions? Um, after having played that one map, it's uh, it's good that we're setting times. Yes. <laughs> um, personally, for me, since like we can't change like the objective times how fast they're done. I think, you know, it would work. The the plus 10 on defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd prefer to advocate uh, the uh, the objective times, getting that done a bit faster. Because, like, the, the plus 10 is kind of a lull. Okay, yeah. Well, and, and another thing that, that I personally am favoring is maybe rather than ha having it be plus 10 for the defense, maybe, I think the key is more that there's a 10-second buffer uh, between offense and defense. And so, for example, maybe the key is to lower offense by five seconds and increase defense by five seconds. Um, or, you know, like maybe on some maps, the sweet spot's going to be seven seconds buffer. But as long as you have yeah. that, essentially what I've noticed with this plus 10 is that there, at the very least, is a chance for the offense to set up if they clear the objective. Whereas... In every other case, yeah. it's sadly, you get the clear and there's no reward at all for it. I mean, you can't even get a quick clear and then a, a plan. Yeah, exactly. So this just feels so much better. Um, what what I would love to see is, uh, I, I would like to see the objectives done faster. Um, I think hacking still takes a little bit too long. I know that there are some tweaks coming in and I'm kind of hacks get longer in the patch yeah and that doesn't make sense to me um I they decrease the rate you dehack or right. i'm sorry yeah they decrease the rate you dehack so they increase the rate you hack which doesn't make sense i mean it yeah. does but it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense for competition like my, my my hope is that um they'll just change that straight up uh like maybe leave it like i i think it might be fine for pubs where there's a good chance you're going to have three operatives, you know? Yeah. Um, like, so maybe that's why they did it, but I think maybe for competition, they just need to straight up say, you know, okay, 5v5, you're going to have one operative. Let us design the objectives around that. Um, I think it takes uh, a minute of uninterrupted hacking for a single operative. That's just sort of a At rough... Four bars. Yeah, add, add four. Yeah, add four bars, and so I'm wondering if maybe the thing to do is like maybe make it 45 seconds or 40 seconds and make it the same time as a as an HD charge. Because uh, honestly, people were saying maybe HD charge needs to be 30 seconds, but I think given this these respawn changes we've been testing, 40 seconds feels okay now to me. 
Uh, it, it feels they should have at least one chance for a disarm, which I right. think they'd get if it was 30. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, in other games where it has been 30, it's mm -hmm. basically a battle over spawns. So uh -huh. if I'm on offense, I'm actually pushing, I'm holding off on plants sometimes to get a give on that engineer so that we do have 30 seconds of him out so that we force mm -hmm. a respawn and then we contain or we maintain that advantage. Right. So it adds another element of strats. I'm not totally against the 40 second uh, timer. I think it works for this game given the run times. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely, it takes an element of strategy out as far as keep staying alive basically on defense. Gotcha. There's gotcha. no incentive to stay alive in this game. Okay. Oh, and I didn't mean to skip over you there, Inferno. Do you have, uh, do you have feedback you want to toss in? I'm sure people probably covered most of it, but uh, it's like last night we we're doing the five seconds. Like we had more like plant opportunities, and like you know, I don't know. We did get past some of the objectives, but uh, ten seconds just feels really solid. Feels like uh, the decisions people make on defense have to be a lot more uh, organized, because with like the normal spawns, you can basically just like go kill someone, die. Don't worry about it, because you like respawn. Mm -hmm. like right on the objective take it back so felt like uh revives and all the game mechanics stuff like was a lot more important with 10 seconds and of course we finished the maps on last yeah. objective which yeah was it's, it's kind of rare to see i was like oh that right that's where <laughs> yeah. that map ends up as right okay um snark do you, do you have any any thoughts i think everyone else pretty much said it <laughs> okay and uh, Zoid, any any final words, my friend? Uh, no, I think that covers it. I'd like to see this in scrims as well when you've got communication going on and stuff. Yeah, uh, that's what I, I want to do tomorrow, by the difference. way. I don't know if Blight is up for it, but uh, yeah, we'll be on. Sweet. Um, and can you maybe look for a scrim partner that's up for trying these settings? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the time and and. Uh, I'm I'm excited and hoping that this kind of becomes the norm. In addition to that, I'm hoping that uh, when the DLC hits, we'll see an, a re-influx of people. Um, Definitely. Hopefully the frustration will go away. All right, guys. Yeah, so that's the completion of our little bit of a test run. Uh, we saw times set in nearly every single map, with exceptions being what they really should have been, which was uh, at moments where we felt like teams were kind of out of whack. Um then we did see holds, but uh, then again, in those cases, when we saw a flip in the uh, in the sides, then the the team that had just held also rolled. Uh, so, in other words, there was a, there was a balance. And um, I don't if, if you've if you watched uh, earlier, there were some comments being made that you know even some of the top teams are getting. Um, held by kind of random teams that aren't very good simply because of the imbalance. So our plus 10, the way we worked it, and it won't be exact, of course, uh, the way we worked it is uh, adding 10 seconds of just kind of standing around whenever you respawn, and that's not perfect because when we actually change the game uh, itself, obviously people aren't going to be standing around for 10 seconds at, at all times. They're, they're, they're just going to go, but... Uh, that 10 second buffer is really what we're looking for between the offense and defense. Um, right now, with the spawn limbs being what they are, defense can get right back to the objective. There's no penalty for dying. There's no reward for the offense for clearing an objective. Um, because there's not enough time to set up, there's not enough time to, to plant or, or hack or whatever it is. Instead, tonight we've seen consistently uh, that there are opportunities for the offense to set up for them to get the objective done and for them to then hold off the defense, set up crossfires and uh, actually create a challenge for the, for the defense in order to retake the objective. It's not a given. So um, I really feel like this was a, a success. Um, I'm going to be submitting these VODs to Splash Damage uh, as soon as I get them rendered out. Hopefully that will be something that they can take a look at and say, hey, awesome, uh, this is kind of proof that nothing's going to be completely broken. Uh, by you know, roughly a, a 10 second tweak to, to the spawn time. So uh, thanks for tuning in or watching this VOD, I guess. Tuning in is the right word because it's just a VOD, but uh, yeah, very, very cool stuff tonight. Thanks everyone who participated. We really appreciate it. And hopefully uh, we can kind of get Brink back on its feet with a little bit of uh, tweakage. Have a good night.